In this video, I'm going to share with you the drug calculations that you need to know. Hello everyone, it's me again, Nurse Sai. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I have new videos. In this video, I'm going to share with you the drug calculations that you need to know and you need to get a perfect score when you do your competency assessment program during your theory week. Before we proceed with the drug calculations, there are a few abbreviations that you need to know. Please take note of this because you will encounter these abbreviations during the drug calculations. And then, another thing that you need to know is the conversion. So, when, when you convert the larger units to a smaller one, so you need to multiply it by 1,000. So, if it's the kilogram to gram, so you need to multiply the kilogram to 1,000. If it's gram, to milligram so you need to multiply the gram to 1000 if it's milligram to microgram so multiply milligram to 1000 so this is the example so 1.2 grams convert to milligram so you need to multiply the 1.2 grams to 1000 so you will get 1200 milligrams Another thing, if you will convert um, smaller units to larger units, you need to divide. Divide it to 1,000. So if it's gram to kilogram, so you need to divide the grams to 1,000. If it's milligram to grams, so divide the milligrams to 1,000. If it's micro microgram to milligram, divide the microgram to 1000 so example is um, 200 milligrams convert to grams so 200 milligrams divided by 1000 so you will get 0 0.2 gram okay now let's proceed with the calculation so I have prepared five examples only so the first one is this so a patient is prescribed 1,000 micrograms of a medication. So each tablet um, contains 0 0.50 milligrams. So how many tablets are required to be given? So the answer is two tablets. So if the question is like this, it's about tablets, it's very easy. But you just need to know the conversion. Okay, so how did I get the answer of two tablets? So the stack dose is 0 0.50 milligrams. And then the prescribed medication is 1,000 micrograms. So this one is in micrograms. So you need to convert um, 0 0.50 milligram to micrograms. So, so if it's larger unit to smaller, you need to multiply. So 0 0.50 milligram times 1000 you have 500 micrograms so divide so this is the prescribed um, dose 1000 micrograms divided by 500 micrograms from here when you converted it so divide so you have two tablets okay so example number two a patient has been prescribed one milligram of risperidone orally twice daily so how many mils of risperidone will be give, given at each dose so the answer is 0 0.5 mils so the stack dose is two milligrams per mil so this is uh, the equation so remember the formula d over s times volume okay so the desired dose is one milligram and then the stack dose is two milligram and the volume is one ml or mil so here in new zealand we pronounce it mil 
Okay, so divide 1 milligram over 2 milligrams. So it's 0 0.5 milligrams times 1 mil. So the answer is 0 0.5 mil. Example number 3 is Ciprofloxacin is to be administered intravenously at 10 mg per kilogram per daily in divided doses. Your patient weighs 96 kilograms. So, first question is what is the total daily dose? And the second question is what is the Q8 um, dose? Okay, with this one, it's um, it looks confusing but um, it's just simple. So, just remember the equation, the what and have. I mean, want and have. So, the given um, unit is 10 milligrams or 10 mg. So, it is here, 10 mg. And then here, kilogram, automatically it, is, it has 1. So, it's 1 kilogram. And then the patient's um, weight is 96 kilograms. So just put the the one kilograms and 96 kilograms um, at the bottom because it has the same units. So what you need to do is multiply first. So like this. So 10 milligrams times 96, which is the patient's weight. So it's. 960 mg per day so that is the total dose per day so to get the every eight hours dose so you need to count so how many eight hours are, are there in 24 hours so we have 8 16 24 so 3 so the daily dose which is 960 mg divided by 3 so you will get 320 mg for the Q8 hour dose. So when you get the Q8 hour dose, which is 320, so it will go up here. So it will be written next to the 10 milligrams because it has the same units. Okay, my last example is about the drops per minute. So the problem is one unit of red suspended blood cells has been prescribed to be administered to run for four hours. The unit of blood has 540 mils. So using a standard giving set, how many drops per minute will be infused? So if it's a standard giving set, use 20 drops per minute. So when, when we did the theory week and it's during the drug calculation so a lot of students including me um, committed mistake because we used 15 drops for the drop factor which which is it's supposed to be 20 drops so with the drops per minute um, formula just remember volume over time times the drop set so the time the given time will be converted to minutes okay so we have um, 540 mils of blood so divided by four hours so we cannot use hours so we need to convert it to minutes so per hour we have 60 minutes so times four so there is 240 minutes and then the drop set is 20 drops per ml so 540 divided by 240 minutes so it's 2.25 times the drop set of 20. So you have 45 drops per minute. Okay, so that's about it. I hope um, you're able to follow my examples. Feel free to leave um, your questions in the comment section below. So I will try to answer if your questions if you are confused. So actually... <laughs> Um, I already erased it in my memories, those um, drug calculations because 
Ah, like I, I had headache when I did the drug calculations, but you'll be fine. So just um, focus with the questions because um, at ARA, they gave very confusing questions where in fact, it's just simple. You just need to focus with the specific question. So before the drug calculation exam, just practice the computation and ask your classmates about how to compute things because uh, for sure your your school will provide um, examples for that but at ARA they didn't teach us about the computation but they just gave us a portal where we could access the drug calculation examples and did self-study so that's it if you find this video helpful please like this video feel free to share and leave your comments below i will see you in my next video bye